Hey everybody, it's Tanya here. Today we're going to do something kind of unique and that is a channeled painting light codes and message from an unusual group called the Mantids. And these are an often misunderstood group. They're actually a higher dimensional frequency, but there has been an association with the name and insectoid races as well as actual Mantids. And so I think they're misunderstood, but they have a beautiful energy and a really great message for you as a light worker and a star seed. I hope you enjoy this message and they're coming up in a moment, but first I just wanted to share that there is a new feature on the page, which is a donate button that you can find in my banner at the top of the channel. And if you feel so inclined, I would graciously love and appreciate your support. All of the videos that I do, I do for free and for the love of spreading these beautiful messages of light, support, and love from our galactic and starseed friends. But I don't get paid, so <laughs> if you want to donate, that would be wonderful. And thank you so much. And hey, while you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really does help this message get out to people just like you who might need a little bit of support in their awakening journey. So sit back, enjoy, and relax this beautiful message, painting, and light codes from the Mantids. We of the Mantid civilization, those of the insectoid races, understand that we are a benevolent species, group, energy. We are like the insects of your planet, but not the same. But this is not necessarily our uh, representation, our energy. It is your physical representation of the frequencies that we are presenting. And so many experience us in the astral realm, in the space between spaces and interdimensional frequencies. Your visualization is simply one that you are creating into your matrix of three-dimensional living space. For Earth is actually a representation of many galactic groups. Many who have come and visited and donated some of their energies, what you might call DNA, structures, blueprints of our uh, physical representation. And they have been uh, working with Gaia for many uh, years, eons, you might use this word, long uh, experience of your time. all part of the flora and fauna uh, of which also the humans are connected, represented, experiencing. Like many others who have come through, we are here uh, in small groups to assist where we can with the flow of consciousness that is uh, shifting with and through Gaia at the moment. The changes that are taking place on the planet and helping to anchor the energies as they begin to fluctuate. There are many that are doing this work. We are one of several groups. We do this uh, through a communication with others and we do it through a communication with humans and other sentient beings on the planet at this time. It is our joy to assist and it is our delight to bring forward our information and that which will help to create an existence that is enjoyable to many who have come at this time and who will come in future times. An ongoing continuation of the experience of Gaia as she begins to shift her energy and vibration. In uh, terms of uh, human understanding, you may say that our focus is uh, that of a mathematical creation. 
It is more of a structural focus that we play, structure of the matrix itself and your interaction with it, as opposed to other groups such as the Pleiadians who have spoken with this conduit prior to us uh, in this experienced day, who are focusing on the humans, their experience, their emotions. Uh, we are here focused more on the structures of the earth grid and the energies that begin to flow in and out. There is much, of course, at play on many different levels, and so all of us are working together towards a common goal, that which is the continuation of the matrix and experience, that which is a continuation of the earth Gaia and her matrices and those which you as sentient humans are experiencing. There are, of course, within that, multi-levels within different layers, and so this is part of what we are presenting. There is, of course, those on our team who are also working specifically with the energy of the human consciousness and, and on an emotional level to support you in that way. There are those on our own team who are working with the humans on an emotional level, who are connecting with conduits in a heart-spaced way for support and energy to bring forward messages of love and energy. Of course, we are all doing that. But myself, my team, we are uh, working together on these structures. So for those of you that are light code anchors who are working within the Earth grid, and those that are on the planet, within the planet, around the planet. We call out to you, this message is to connect with you, to say thank you for doing the work that you are doing and do please work with focused intent. Do be sure to be connecting in with those that are of your light worker community, those that are working with you in the astral, and also in the space between which you enter whilst meditating or are in a quiet space. You may call upon us at any time to communicate with us and we ask that you continue to know that you are supported and loved by so many and we are delightful, uh, delighted to be working with you. We are architects and builders we are creating these structures together and we are very grateful for your assistance to work with us at this time. I believe there will be more of you that are coming into a consciousness with our energy. Perhaps you are the ones that are listening to this transmission uh, at whatever point you are listening to it. That it is beginning to open your third eye and that and to understand that the forms that represent themselves to you are not necessarily related to your emotional connections to that type of form on your planet Gaia. So whilst we may call ourselves insectoid and you may see that on your planet, it does not mean that there is something to be afraid of. It is simply a different form of viewing our energy. That is all. What a great message, and if you resonate, leave a comment below so others can connect and discuss with you. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.